quick introduction. I'm Tony. I've been a tech here for three years. I just got a little something for Alex. He's done a lot for me. One, shop related and two, personal life related. And so I got him this made by my buddy Mike. He made the sign for Alex and I just wanted to get this made for him as a thank you for everything he's done for me personally and with the shop. He's given me a lot of opportunities to learn and grow and work on cars I would have never been able to work on otherwise. This is just a little token appreciation, something Alex can put on his desk in the new shop. Good morning, Alex. Are you recording me? I am recording you. For what? What do you want? What is that? <laughs> I got you this for the new shop. As a little oh thank gosh. you for everything you've done for me and all the opportunities you've given me. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Where'd you get this from? My friend Mike made it. That's pretty cool. See this? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I didn't just hit the dong. Oh, you gotta hit a dong. Oh, damn. I'm gonna put this on my office desk. <laughs> It's actually funny, while you were inside the office designing your office with Carla, I was talking to him about getting this made. And I walked in there and you were talking about it and I was thinking about it sitting on your desk. It was really funny. That's this why I was like- really cool oh, actually, bro. He 3D printed this? Yeah. Damn, who wants some of these? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we put this on the merch, merch store? You guys want some table Gintani light up little thingies? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments and we can make some. What's your boy's name? Mike. Mike? We're gonna make some of these and sell them. <laughs> Special edition. Only a hundred. Why are you laughing, bro? You gonna give him a hug or something? Give who a hug? No, I'll make out with him later. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Like I told you guys in the documentary, we're gonna be doing a big series on a build on a very, very special car. Roll the shots. I have the very special one of one Paul Walker's Time Attack E92 M3 race car. This car was very special to me and to a lot of the guys that were a part of the racing scene when we were racing this car in Time Attack. Paul raced this car for a couple of seasons. We actually took it apart after the last race because it had a bearing failure and we were supposed to take it apart and rebuild it. Obviously, we're not gonna give you guys too much of the story right now. We'll continue with that as we get into the series. We're at the old shop right now. We're emptying out the old shop. This car will be getting on a trailer, getting delivered to the new shop. Whoever's watching this video, if you guys are a company that does anything for E92 M3s, let us know if you wanna be a part of this build. Anything from rims to anything. I mean, we got APR in the back. I'm sure those guys will be on board. We're gonna get Hankook back on. We're gonna put this car back to basically what it used to look like when Paul was racing it, but we'll give it a little bit more upgrades and stuff that we were discussing with Paul when we were supposed to build it. So stay tuned. I've been waiting for years to do this. After Paul passed away, we went through a lot of drama with his dad and so on. The car basically ended up sitting in the parking lot apart for a very long time. We've finally resolved those issues. The car has you know, been basically given to us. It's our car now, but obviously with the car sitting for years, you guys can see the paint is basically dry rotted. The roof is dry rotted. There's no engine in the car. It's basically a rolling chassis. The interior stuff, like his seats and stuff like that, we still have put away. So all the original seats and stuff is there. We need to redo the wheels. There was Volk wheels on this car before. The interior has been completely taken apart because when we were building this car, the guys at AE, when they were around, they needed the roll bar that they had made for it originally to make a fixture. So they took that out. So we had taken the whole interior apart. So there's a bunch of parts in here. Look, see, that's a perfect example of we're gone but all these people still make noise over here. So nobody could blame us for all this noise anymore because we ain't here no more. As you guys can see the condition of the car, we wanted to show you guys a little bit of what it looks like right now. So you guys can see the end product when we're done. This is gonna be a nice long build, a nice long series for you guys. And hopefully we get a lot of cool people who get involved in this car and this car's build. I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am. We're at the new shop. We're getting settled in. I got a big smile on my face, got a little bit of stress relief. Eight month process of building this place, actually more than that. We're still trying to catch up with stuff and finish up the showroom and finish up the offices and stuff like that. But thank God we have the guys inside, we have the fabricators working, we got the cars on the lift, we're starting to 
get back onto the projects and guys we got a lot of projects like we got a lot a lot of content coming for you guys this is going to be awesome we got so many builds happening at once you guys can see my beautiful 348 in the background the rwb that car is sold it is heading out to australia we're doing some final touches cleaning it up getting it ready to get shipped out to australia it's going to a great um collector so they're gonna love this car and they're gonna keep it forever so i know it's going to a good home but let's walk through the shop real quick let me give you guys a little bit of update what's going on as we walk in don't mind the mess we're still setting up we got our r8 gt4 track car over here this car will be going under the knife in the next three weeks we are going to do a twin turbo kit for this car we will do a low boost kit and we will track the living out of this car we want to put our kit on the track not only for a half mile or quarter mile stuff or street driving we actually want to take it out there and literally give it hell on the track we're going to do a low boost kit we're going to take it out have some fun and show you guys how efficient and how reliable our twin turbo kits are for these cars we're going to start doing a lot more v10 stuff while we're in the shop we kind of stayed away from that stuff because we had a lot of competition down here in la with that but i think now it's time we step our foot into this market and start doing a lot more v10 builds so stay tuned for this build we got our 812 super fast car just here to get some little touches and cleaned up and service that's actually going up for sale. We got my buddy Dan's SVJ in the background right there. We just put our stage four carbon carbon quad disc clutch in that car. We're actually putting the car back to the factory intake manifold and the factory exhaust. We will start driving that car for about 200 miles, doing testing on the clutch, making sure everything is good before we take it apart again and put the tur uh, turbo kit on there. The reason we're testing it on that car is because that's the car that's actually not a part too far and we could put the clutch in and out pretty quick on that car if we need to change anything around or do some testing. We have another two cars that are on the lift, which is one is a Aventador S for shift culture. That's getting a fully built motor, which we'll show you guys that. And we have our friend Dom's car from New York that we're finishing up right now. We will be testing the clutch on this car and then once everything's ready to go and we've checked off on everything and we're happy with it, we're gonna put the clutch in those cars and get them ready to get out of here. We got the RWB in the back. We are getting ready to put the engine into that car. We're doing a, a 3.8 liter twin turbo motor. It'll be on a full standalone. So you guys will get a whole look into us building that car, which will be a fun series. So we're gonna do a bunch of different uh, build series. We're gonna do them simultaneously and you guys will get a glimpse of every single thing that's going on in the shop. Behind me right here, we got Edmunds Senna. Edmund bought this car about two weeks ago. He wants to really track this car and beat the living crap out of it. There's a lot of problems with these cars with rods, especially when you're making big power. So we will be pulling the motor out of that car next week. It will get our proprietary rods and pistons. We will be putting it all back together. We'll have my buddy Marco from Nagnus flying in. We're gonna do some upgraded turbos on it, full titanium exhaust. It'll probably make anywhere from 1,000 to 1,200 horsepower. We'll have different settings for it, but it will be bulletproof and it'll be ready for Edmund to go out to the track and enjoy the crap out of it. Behind us over here, we have a Ferrari F8 that just came in. It is getting our full exhaust system tuned. Tony's actually working on that right now to get it apart. On this side, we have the GT3 RS, which we're gonna talk about today with our F1 system. We will show you guys the F1 system, our headers and the whole package and how that all goes together. On the other lifts, we got an F8 that's here for some maintenance. This car was built for my buddy Eric Antioch about a year and a half ago and then he ended up selling it and then that guy ended up selling it and now it belongs to our new customer which is a very nice guy and he wanted us to get the car down here get everything apart look over it refresh everything so we're in the middle of doing all that we've taken the entire kit this car's got our full upgrade kit on it which includes full replacement Zona turbos new charge pipes, new wastegates, new blow-off valves. We get rid of the air-to-air -air intercooler system. It's got our air-to-liquid intercooler system on there. So we're just going through everything, making sure everything is good. We're gonna be putting the car back together by next week and it'll be going on our mainline hub dyno, do some little touches. Over here on this lift, we have Shift Culture's Aventador S, which is getting a fully built motor, fully built clutch. It'll have our standalone management with map switching, flex fuel, rolling anti-lag, anti-lag, all the cool features. We're actually in the middle of putting the harness and everything in that car. We have the engine over there because we are actually building a six to one long tube equal length header. We decided since the motor was out of this car and since the factory headers are really thin, 
It's, it uses a very, very um, thin gauge material. So we decided, you know what, we have the motor out of it. Why don't we build a bat six into one equal length header? We got Dom on the lift getting wrapped up. We're about to put the clutch in that thing once we are done testing on Daniel's car. And then we got our 992 Turbo S on the lift just getting some maintenance. Got to get that car on the dyno and get it out to my partner in Utah, Augie, finishing up the car. Little short man, baldy, you know, chill out. We're getting it ready. We got the whole fabrication team in the back. So basically we put this over here. We put the whole back end together. We're trying to build everything and put everything on this engine. So we have one engine in the car and we can take measurements off of that. And then we have one engine out of the car, which will build shields around. So we know what areas we can't pass when we're uh, building the headers. So we'll start building these headers real soon. We're just getting everything ready so we could start, you know, putting everything together. You got, you got the whole fabrication area over here. We're still setting up this room. This is the dirty room. The manual lathe and the manual mill are not in here yet. We still have the ventilation stuff in process to get the air cleaned out, but the guys are in full effect. They're building your exhaust systems, whoever has orders in, and uh, we've been late on that. I apologize, but we finally settled in, and we have the guys building everything right now and getting everything ready for you guys so we can get it shipped out. We're gonna have a couple big announcements. We're working on a couple big uh, upgrades for the shop. I know you guys haven't seen next door. We've kept that under wraps. There's a full machine shop next door. We got a huge piece of machinery that we are working on getting right now as we speak. And when we get that machinery, our production time for exhaust systems is gonna go by a lot quicker. I won't give too much about that because that's gonna be a big announcement. My brother will be back here at all times, helping us, running the place with me. We're starting a whole new chapter of Gintani with that machine. Look forward to that. The dyno room is over here. Let me just show you guys that real quick. It's still not completely done with the dyno room, but it's almost there. All the fans are all installed up top. We're still waiting for our blower fans in the front. We should be here uh, in about a couple weeks. We got our one mainline fan in the front right now. So the cool part about our dyno room is that we have an all-wheel drive uh, MD800 Mustang dyno, which is a full adjustable bed. It's very easy with this thing to be able to put cars on, strap them down real quick, do some runs and get it out of here. Now, when we get into the big, big horsepower cars and you know we deal with wheel slip or you got a $800,000 SVJ on there that's making 1,800 horsepower to the wheel, it's kind of not fun being on a roller dyno. So for that, we bought a mainline dyno. So we have a mainline hub dyno. It's got pockets built into the side of the dyno room. So whenever we are using the mainline hub dyno, they will literally roll out and we will bolt them to the cars do all our work on the mainline hub dyno. Once we're done with it, we'll unbolt it from the car and they both go into their own pockets. They're tucked away so it's nice and clean. We don't have to mess with moving them around all the time and it makes it easier for us to be able to utilize both dynos. It's almost done. We got the lights up. We're actually setting up our tuning office over here. So all the tuning stuff will be in this room. I got Damon's and Dave's uh, 599 ECUs over there that I'm working on as we speak right now, which I will ship out to them today. So that will be my office where we will do all the tuning, all the soldering, everything. We will not be going into our personal offices to be doing any kind of work like that. Any car comes here that gets to get tuned, we'll get pulled into the shop, we'll get driven back here, get parked right on the side over there, and then me and NJ could flash whatever we need to flash on the cars. We got the vents to bring the air in. The dyno fans will be here in a few weeks. They're very similar to this. We actually designed them ourselves and we will be selling those dyno fans, which is gonna be pretty cool. So if anybody has a dyno and is looking for some fans that can really move some air, our product will be out in the next month or so. It's gonna be really, really cool and it's got a little holder tray area. So if you're ever working on a car on the dyno and you need to put your tools down somewhere, you have somewhere to place them. So we got a lot of cool things we're working on. This has been a long process. I know we haven't given you guys too much information when we're at the old shop, but when we're building this shop, we're also working on all these new designs, new products. So these are the quick switches. I'll give you guys a little. That's three. So this dyno room, will be able to move about 180 miles per hour worth of air in front of the car. So that's what we've calculated all the fans to be able to do. So we should, maybe even more than that, we should be able to do 
200 mile per hour pulls on this dyno and simulate the air that we would get on the street if the car was actually moving on the street. So we wanted to make sure that we could keep this thing closed, keep the sound in, be able to get all the exhaust fumes out. You know, I've been inhaling these fumes for years now and I'm sick and tired of it. So now I'll be a lot more comfortable knowing that these fumes are not killing me if they haven't already, but it's all set up. It's gonna be like a wind tunnel kind of set up so the cars will always stay cool and it will all be controlled by variable speed. So as we're getting faster with the dyno, the mile per hour from the rollers will go to the dyno fans and the fans will speed up the air as we're doing the pulls. We are planning on having a big grand opening party in June. I think by then we'll be comfortable, settled in, all the office furniture, everything will be done, the showroom will be done. We'll have a cool place for you guys to come visit. So in June, we're gonna have a big, big grand opening. Obviously, we will have a bunch of security because we know people get out of hand and we can't have that stuff over here. Everybody's gotta stay respectful, but we can't wait to have everybody out here to come see the new shop, come see all the cool projects that we're doing. That's a cool little update for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now let's move on to the GT3 and talk about what's going on over there. All right, what's up guys? I don't know if you guys remember a while back, we made a video on the biggest toolbox we've ever seen. Where are we gonna put this thing, bro? It's bigger than our dyno. It's 17 feet long, which is literally longer than an Aventador. Mr. Big! Look at that. Now we're finally getting settled into our new shop and the purpose of this whole toolbox was to put a nice piece on this wall. So we've got all the cabinets in, top chests, hutches, and this right here is that big toolbox that you guys saw us unload off the truck. So this thing finally came together and it looks even crazier than we ever imagined. It's gonna sit right here in front of our main lifts for working and fabrication. I think this thing speaks for itself on how gigantic and crazy it is. I'm about 6'1", 240 pounds. This is huge. Sick toolbox, now we gotta find some tools to fill in it. So if any tool companies out there watch our videos or know about us, wanna help us out fill this thing up, Hit us up. All right guys, so over here we have our GT3 RS full exhaust system. This exhaust will actually work on the 991.1, 991.2, and the 992 GT3 and GT3 RS. These are our equal length long tube headers, as you can see over here, all CNC machined flanges, CNC billet machined collector. We got our high flow six inch cats over here. These are all EPA certified cats. The best part about these cats is number one, they flow unbelievable. So you're not gonna lose any power having these cats on there. The other good thing about this cat is that you don't need to tune the car or anything. So this cat will not set any kind of check engine light. It is free flowing. This system actually made 35 wheel horsepower and 28 wheel foot pounds of torque with just the system. This is the rear section. It's obviously got our F1 Formula One design. That's where you know we get the high pitch and everything from. Now that people have seen it, I'm sure we'll see a lot more of these on the market for the Porsches, but we've been trying to keep the system hidden for a little bit because all people do is call us and ask for pictures, shops ask for pictures, and I think it's time that we actually show the product, tell everybody out there that has ordered this product from us that we are in full production, we are building all your systems, we are getting everything ready to get shipped. Again, I know I keep apologizing, but we are sorry it's taking so long. The guys are full blown inside, you can hear the grinding. They're working on your systems, we're getting everything ready to go. The system is ready for purchase, so it's in full production. If anybody's interested, please just DM us, email us, or give us a call, and you can put the order in for this system. It is valve, it does work with the factory electronic motors, so you literally just take off your rear section, pull your motors off of the factory exhaust, and put it right onto ours. This setup right here is basically what you guys hear on that high-pitched yellow Porsche behind me, which blew up the internet. So. We got a few systems actually getting ready, ready to get sent out to a few customers. So you guys will be seeing a lot more videos of this system. And again, if you guys are interested in the system, please contact us. We will get ready to build it and get it out to your door. Thank you so much. Let's take some clips of this car and let you guys enjoy it.